Okay, uh, good morning again, Professor David J. Delosres. Okay, uh, my next topic will be a long video format discussion, that, but this will be a random topic in which uh, I will be adding this to my mix, uh, lecture, mix lectures. Okay, uh, let's proceed. We got a problem over here. This is a random topic which will help those who are having problems in the calculations of complex numbers. Okay, this is a very important thing and I want to prove that these two solutions are actually the same. But the second solution is the preferred solution if you are taking the board exams. Okay, let's read problem. Evaluate, uh, we are given the expression 3 plus j4 over 5 minus j3 and what will be equal to. The problem is asking for the simplification of this, 3 plus j4 over 5 minus j3. This is a complex number, okay, uh, but uh, we are not uh, designating this as we are studying mathematics. This will now be in the study of alternating current circuit because in the study of mathematics, complex numbers is designated by I. To separate it from that I under easy circuit, we use the J. But still, the discussion is complex number. That's why for us, for our electrical engineers, complex numbers is actually very important. It got an importance. Okay, let's proceed. For solution number one, 3 plus J4 over 5 minus J3, if we try to simplify this one using the brute force solution, okay, uh, we will write it 3 plus J4 over 5 minus J3. We will try to multiply this one to eliminate the J sign and the denominator. We must have to multiply the given expression by the complex conjugate of the denominator. The denominator should be complex conjugates, meaning if this is minus, we will just copy this, but instead of uh, minus, it will be plus, so they will be complex conjugates, and we could eliminate the J sign underneath. Okay, because if 5 plus J3 over 5 plus J3 is actually 1, but we could do it. Okay, expanding. If we try to multiply, the operation is multiplication. This is multiplication. Right? So we use the distributive law of college algebra. Binomial, binomial. Okay, we expand the binomial and the numerator, so it will be 3 times the second binomial plus j4 times the second binomial all over the expansion of the bottom portion or is the one of the topics under college algebra the but product of the sum and difference okay they are complex conjugates so 5 times 5 will be 25 g3 times 5 will be minus g15 g3 times 5 will be still j plus g15 any j times j will be j square minus j square. Any 3 times 3 will be 9. Okay, if you try to look at the denominator, okay, uh, this cancels out. Okay, so if we try to expand now the numerator, okay, as a next step, 3 times 5 will be 15, 3 times uh, j3 will be uh, j9, right? A j4 times 5 will be j20. Okay, and a G4 times a G3, a G and J will be G square, and 4 times 3 will be 12. Okay, then try to simplify or what you call this combined similar terms. All, all over the denominator, this is 25. Okay, uh, this is minus, right? So this is minus. Then we will try to replace this G square to be equal to minus 1. It is uh, under a study of mathematics, I square is equal to minus 1. But under the study of alternating current circuit, we do not use I, we use J. So we replace J square by minus 1. So this is minus open quantity minus 1 times I. Simplifying the numerator, this will be 15. J9 plus J20 will be J29, similar terms. Okay, we replace this j square by minus 1, so this is open quantity minus 1 times 1. So this will now be 15, this will now be real part, right? So 15 minus 12 will be 3. The real part on the numerator will be j29. 
And for the denominator, okay, after multiplying the given expression by, it, by its complex conjugates, we eliminated already the G sign. So what comes out now for the denominator was a pure real number. It is uh, 34. Okay? So if we try to individually divide this denominator to each of the numerator, so this will now be 3 over 34 plus J 29 over 34. 3 over 34 is 0 0.088, 29 over 34 is 0 0.0852, this is real per imaginary part. Okay? Uh, this is in rectangular form. As an alternate solution to verify the validity of our answer brought for solution, we will use the so-called uh, conversion terms of rectangular to polar. That's why I emphasize under the study of AC circuit. The conversion from rectangular to polar was actually very important. Okay, so I will use the rectangular to polar because it's easier to divide two uh, impedances or two terms, okay, in polar form. If we try to change this 3 plus G4 to polar form, uh, use your calculator. You should have a scientific calculator. Okay, uh, it's a right triangle method. The real part is 3, the imaginary part is 4, this is 3, and we are solving for angle theta. So you, you take the ratio 4 over 3, it should be 1.33, press arc tangent, okay, what will come out will be 53.13 degrees. To compute for the magnitude, uh, actually in my discussion under the easy circuit, I, we could present three solutions. Either we use the Pythagorean theorem, or the cosine function, or the sine function, but for this I will use the cosine function. So I will display 53.13, I will take the cosine, I will take the inverse, I will multiply that by the real part, and what will come out should be 5. Okay, uh, you, that, you do that operation already here on your calculator, if you are on the board exams, you do not have to show it. So meaning to say 3 plus G4 is actually pi, 53.13 degrees. So actually the magnitude is pi. Of course, this is 3 square plus 4 square, 9 plus 16, the square root will be 25, this is 5. Okay, 5 minus G3, it's the same. But the vector diagram is different. This is uh, uh, 5, this is minus G3, this is minus G3, right? This is uh, the one we are solving. Uh, downward because it's negative, right? So it's still power drive. Uh, we take the ratio of this and this, take the tangent. Take the ratio 3 over 5, press our tangent, what will come out will be 30.96 degrees. This is minus, so this should be negative 30.96 degrees. It is below the 0 degree line, right? Take the cosine, take the reciprocal, you multiply that by 5, what will come out for the magnitude will be 5.83. So this should be 5.83. Or the square root of 5 plus the square root of 9, or this should be the square root of 34. Square root of 34 is 5.83. Negative 30.96 degrees. So this was actually a long operation, but since you do it on your calculator, okay, I, you got only two lines, right? And if we now try to simplify the given expression, 3 plus g4 over 5 minus g3 equal to the rectangular, the polar equivalent of this is 5 angle 53.13 degrees and the polar equivalent is 5.83 okay, negative 30.96 degrees and under the rule on how to divide to polar uh, expression you divide their magnitude then you try to uh, subtract their angles so this should 5 over 5.83 is 0.857 angle uh, the resulting angle should be the angle of the numerator, 53.13 degrees, minus open quantity, this is negative 30.96 degrees. Okay, so this will now be 53.13 minus minus, so this should now be plus. So that will be 80 something, so this is 84.6 degrees. In polar form. But since the first answer, answer is actually in rectangular, we will convert this to rectangular again. Take the cosine of this angle, 84.6 degrees, times 0.857, this is 0.088. Uh, take the sine of 84.6 degrees, 
it should be high value it's almost uh, near the 90 degrees uh, it is actually it's a big value times uh, 0.857 what comes out is 0.852 so the rectangular equivalent rectangular equivalent of this uh, fuller answer here is 0.088 plus j.8052 in same as the first answer it is true okay uh, good morning from los angeles this is professor david j Luis. that is an explanation on how to evaluate two expressions okay by using complex conjugates good morning from los angeles